and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be unboxing a Tinker Crate and I'm really excited to see what this month has in store for us. And so if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to show you different unboxings like this one, to show you some different organizational ideas and curriculum we like to use. So if you're interested in those things, please subscribe below and let's get into this box. So this one says color mixing LED crystal. So that sounds interesting. Wire up a color changing LED and explore the colors of light. So that sounds really, really cool. You could use this for a science unit on color. So when we open it up, and color and light, that's what I meant to say. There's our little blueprints on the top, which are very typical to this box. So we open them and it looks, I don't know if this is what it's gonna look like when we're done but that looks pretty cool. So we have our instructions here and then battery use instructions, which is really great <laughs> if you don't know how to use batteries. And then we have our little booklet that is probably gonna talk a little bit more about light and explain some things. So this talks about mix mixing light, rainbows, conductivity probe, if I'm saying that correctly. So there's a bunch of different things in here that are really helpful and it gives you some other resources that they have resources on their website at kiwico.com. So there's a lot of different resources if you wanna turn this into a full on lesson to use for homeschool. So in here we have, this looks like our little crystal dome thing. And then we have a pack that has for the batteries, and then it has a few foam pieces and some like brass tack things on the back. So the funny part about this is the Tinker Crate comes with batteries. Last month, the Doodle Crate needed batteries, but you had to have them yourself. So I don't know why that is, but this one and all the projects we've needed batteries, they come with it, but the Doodle Crate didn't have batteries. And then it has this little base for it for the crystal, I don't really know. But I really like inside it has a whole bunch of a little template of how everything's gonna work out. <laughs> and so we can, you can see what you need to do and it gives you a, like the ground bar, the green, blue, red. So it has a, a lot of helps for kids as they're trying to learn how to do this. These are just some really teeny metal pieces. And then this is all the different wires. So that's where that template will come in handy as you have to wire everything up to make sure it works. And then this little piece, and I think that's all. So again, this one looks really exciting and I don't even really know what to expect or how it's all gonna work out, but I know my son's gonna love trying to figure it out. And so I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes.
Mazer just finished making his Tinker Crate and he's really excited to show you. So lift it up, bud, so they can see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the LED crystal he made. And most of the work for this project is underneath. Okay, it's all in this wiring and everything he had to do underneath. So what was your favorite part? I don't know. You don't know? Was there a part you thought was really hard? Uh, lots of the parts. Lots of it. This one was a little bit trickier and I'll talk about that in a minute. So then show them how it works. I'll hold it and you show. It's gonna be really hard to see because it, it doesn't really light up well in a well-lit room. So you can't, we had to go to the basement. We initially went to the bathroom, but then we went downstairs. So you can see a little bit that it's changing colors. So that's the red one. And then you have the green and then the blue one. So you can see a little bit in the camera that they're changing colors. So I thought it was really cool that it did that. Okay, did you think of anything you really liked about it? Uh, the changing color part. You like that it changes colors? Okay, you can go back out. <laughs> he did. I was there for a long time. How long was I there? <laughs> He did not want to come and do the video, so we we're lucky we had him for a second. So there's a few things about this one that were slightly complicated. First of all, this is very different than a lot of the Tinker Crates we've received because even though you're still like tinkering and putting stuff together, it was all in this wiring underneath instead of building a robot or I think everything has just had parts that he's been able to build. This really didn't build a whole lot as far as like with wood, it just built with wires. So that was very, very different and it was cool. It was a slightly harder for him to work with. So you can see there's just a lot of little wires and connectors. And initially we didn't, he didn't have the things connected the right way or tightly enough. So it wasn't working. And like I said, you can't see it very well unless you're in a darker room. So the back of these blueprints though, has some great troubleshooting ideas. And this is what I used as we were trying to figure out why it wasn't working. We were able to go through this stuff and figure it out. So use this because it was really helpful and we got it to work. And this also has some different ideas here for mixing the different colors and it tells you to go into the book that comes with it. So something, there's a few things in here. We didn't, we haven't tried these yet, but you can take it and put the conductivity, I'm not like an electrician or anything, but through these wires here. So it comes with these extra wires and you can conduct it through a penny and it gives a few other suggestions. And then it says, be careful, do not electrocute yourself. Like there's this warning right here <laughs> doing it. And then there was another activity that you could also do with this so you could, this resistor is in the middle of this. It's right here where all the light, the cords, the wires come in and connect. So you can switch them around and see what happens and see what colors change. And there's a certain properties associated with like the red cord. So if you change it, it might create the lights that are darker or brighter or dimmer. I'm like saying the same thing. <laughs> with different words, but so it will change the properties of what's going on. So that was cool how that gives you these different options in this book. So those were just a few of the things, like I said, this one was very different than any of the ones we've done so far, but I still found it was fun, but it was a little bit more difficult working with all these little wire connections. But if you're interested in seeing more unboxings like this, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next time.